Jason, one thing I wanted to ask you just before we, we wrap up. You're obviously closely associated with Matchroom. You mm-hmm. train a lot of Matchroom fighters. Mm-hmm. Is that kind of a double-edged sword in that anyone who's got a thing against Matchroom, you get haters on social media and so on, mm. also target you. But on the plus side, you get a lot of good fighters come through the gym. Well, I don't go on social media. I'm not on social media for a start, so I don't really read it or even care about it. Um, what you're saying is quite a true uh, a true thing, what you're saying there, because obviously I've had fighters. You have fighters always asking you to train them, and some of them are good fighters, but they're not with Matchroom, so I'll turn them down. Because at the end of the day, this gym's a Matchroom gym. And, uh, is that work- hard for you to have to turn those guys down? Do you like think about it later on and regret it, or do you just not care? Not really. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I do what I have to do. I've got a great relationship with Eddie and Barry. You know, I, not exactly struggling for good fighters either. No, I class them as friends and, as well as work people. And um, I, I was actually the first person to sign a fighter with Eddie, so that ain't never forgotten. Who was that? It was Darren Barker. Was his first okay. ever fighter. And I was influential in signing Cole Frotch, which was, which was his next fighter. So, um, you know, we've had a good rela- relationship from the first day we started together and we still have now, you know, and I work out of this gym, so I can't complain about nothing. So like you say, sometimes a good fighter will come to me, but he's not with my promoter and I'll just turn him down, you know, just the way it is. But is there a positive side of that too, in that some fighters will see your training here as a, as a way into matchroom as well? Of course. I'm sure a lot come because of your experience of and success. Of right? course, yeah. A lot, a lot of people approach me because they want to get into matchroom. Of course they do, you know, and I don't blame them really because the way into matchroom is to be in the matchroom gym. But then it's up to me to be selective of who I want the training here. What percentage because, do you think you turn down? What per year you mean? Well, just percentage generally, yeah. Like out of everyone who asks you to come and train here, how many do you actually accept? Well, I turned down. Uh, I've turned down like two this month. Do you know what I mean? So quite a lot of them. Yeah. yeah so you normally, you normally, but that ain't just for that ain't nothing to do with matching reasons. That's just I'm full up at the minute with fighters. Yeah. I mean, if I kept saying yes to everybody that approaches me. I could end up with a hundred fighters in there easily. Do you know what I mean? So you, you have to be selective. You have to work with the people that you want to work with, who that you believe in, you, that can do something, and um, and, that, and that's the way I work. Brilliant, Tony. We thank you and best of luck to all your fighters who've got fights coming up. Thanks very much. Mm-hmm.